everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another ranking style video. I apologize for the ugly mug. I haven't showered yet today. I haven't, I kind of felt terrible yesterday, which is why I didn't upload the full day. I was going to do that. You can probably kind of tell in my voice, it sounds a bit deeper. I sound a bit more, I, I, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, guys, we are diving into another ranking style video. Today, we're taking a look at the WWE Elite Chase variants. Now, I think I got all of them. We started getting WWE Elite Chase variants back in Elite Series 63. So I started off with Elite 63 all the way up until Elite 86 because we already know what Elite 86 is going to be. So we have 63 through 86. Should be a fun one. Of course, we are going to go through our ranking tiers over here. On the left, we have Go Buy It, which is the top of the top. If I put it in there, it's worth the purchase. It's an absolute must buy. It's just that damn good. Underneath that, we have Good Figure, which is like, it's solid. It wasn't quite perfect, so we had to put it in the Good Figure tier. We have meh, which would be, you know, it's not terrible, it's not good, it's somewhere in the middle. You have barely acceptable, where it's just like one thing keeping that thing out of the absolute garbage. And then, of course, you have garbage, which means you're just garbage. So there you go, Brad. You got all your tiers. I also have a list of every single elite, like from 63 through 86 right here, simply because uh, I feel like it could tie into the ranking, which I'll, I'll get into in a minute. But let's just shut the hell up and dive into Elite Series 6. With our first chase variant, which is going to be Elite 63 chase variant, Shelton Benjamin. Now, this is one that got a lot of people excited in the community because it was a ruthless aggression, you know, it was a throwback. And this is a go buy it. It's one of the best ones, and it was the first one. So, uh, Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin is a must grab, I'd say. I think it's absolutely go buy it, so we're going to stick it right there. Next up, guys, we have Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins. Now, this one I like a lot. I thought the Elite 64. Hawkins was a great figure anyways, but I'm going to put it in good figure for now. I don't think it's go buy it worthy, even though it is a great attire. I like the black. You know, it's very New York, New York Knicks, New York Mets. I mean, it's looking pretty damn good right there, but I am going to put it in good figure for now. We could come back to it. <laughs> Next up, guys, we do have Elite 65 Aiden English. Now, this one for me, now I love Aiden English, but the, the custom that I made that I used on Vindication was a lot better than this. And I honestly feel, I don't know if I want to go barely acceptable or garbage. I'm going to put in barely acceptable for now. It could drop, but I'm going I'm to do that right now. Next up is Elite 66 Kevin Owens. Elite 66 Kevin Owens. Uh, hmm. I don't know, man. This one's difficult for me. I apologize for my voice, dude. Jeez, you can hear like the... Uh, you can hear that rasp in there. It's like, Christ, maybe if I do something else, it'll fix it. It actually sounds a lot better when I do a, a, like, a, like a change in voice. My regular voice sounds effed. Let's get a little, little water. So at least 66 Kevin Owens. I'm going to put it in good figure. I'm a big Kevin Owens fan, but I know a lot of people probably aren't in there. I'm going to put KO Mania in the good figure, and I'm going to put it just below Hawkins for now. Again, it could go up. It could go down. We'll, we'll see what that is. Next up is Elite 67 Jeff Hardy. Now, this one's a good figure. I don't know if it's go buy it worthy. I love Jeff Hardy figures just like Kevin Owens. I freaking love him. One of my favorites of all time. But just the plain blue sleeves, I feel like that's not as good, really, as the regular version. Now, there, there's a connection conundrum there because do you want it to be better than the regular or do you want it to be not as good as the regular because it'll be harder to obtain that's where you're gonna give and take is there but you kind of want it to be better because you want a reason to search it out but you don't want it to be so damn good that it's just super impossible to obtain so that's kind of you know that's where you're like eh. next up is king mabel this one's garbage man we got our first one in the garbage this one is nowhere near like not enough differences you know in a good chase variant you want a good difference in attire you want you know like like a really good change of pace from the regular version. The garbage version here just isn't good enough, man. It's literally, it goes from the M on the on the chest to this lightning graphic, and it's just not enough to warrant a chase variant. There was, uh, in this set, you had Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Brie Bella, Braun Strowman, Undertaker, and Mabel. I think Roman or Daniel Bryan would have been a much better case for me, so I went ahead and put Mabel in the garbage right there. The next figure we're covering, guys, is Elite 70 Ziggler, so I guess we're going to skip Elite 69, and we're going to Ziggler for now and this is a go buy it this is one of the base chase variants they've ever made i think it's the best so far at least from what i'm seeing right here this is so good i love this figure great fix-ups the pink is really bright it's a great figure we needed a Dolph ziggler very much and this is just a perfect embodiment of that pink gear and stuff so for me this is easy put it at the number one spot for now mustafa ali i'm gonna put this one in good figure i think it's i, I like it a lot you know it is mustafa ali so it's like the only elite we have so it, it may get some more 
points there for that reason. <laughs> but you know, I think uh, this is a good spot for Mustafa Ali for now. It may be. It's borderline go buy it now. I'm trying to be a little bit tougher on this series, so we're going to put him in there for good. Go buy it. Next up is Nikki Bella. I'm putting this in the garbage, man. I just, we, we really didn't even need an elite of her in the first place to give her the chase when you had so many good figures here. You had Cena, McIntyre, Hardy, Adam Cole, and Big Show, and you gave Nikki Bella the chase variant. I just, I, I don't know about that one, Brad. I think that's a garbage right there. Just, I don't really mind getting an elite of her as much, but giving her the chase was just uncalled for for me. I'm going to put her in the garbage. Next up is Buddy Murphy. Now, this one's fire. I'm going to go go buy it here. The black attire is really, really nice. It's much better than his recent Elite 84 figure with the Monday Night Messiah or the Disciple gear. The Buddy Murphy in black compared to the red is a really nice touch. It's a little bit different, and it gives us another option for our Buddy Murphy, so I'm going to go put that one in. Go buy it. Next up, guys, we have two different two different figures. We have Grand Metalik and Lince Dorado. Now, for me, I'm going to put these in meh. It's just like, did we need did we need Chase variants of Grand Metalik and Lince Dorado? Not really. I don't think we really needed those in these sets. That was Elite 73 and 4, I think. And in Elite 73, you had Aleister Black, you had Daniel Bryan, you had Triple H. In Elite 74, you had Balor, you had Styles, you had Andrade. There were just much better options, in my personal opinion, for the Chase variant in these sets, like with guys that are more popular, that have better attires. And just like, these, these attires aren't really memorable for me, like the black and gold, and then the regular gold for Dorado. Just wasn't something that really stood out for me, so I'm gonna put those in meh. Next up is Hurricane. <laughs> Next up is Hurricane. I'm gonna put him in good figure. I really like this figure. I, I mean, it could be go buy it. Now, I would say go buy the Hurricane figure. I think that is what Mattel sent me for my replacement figure, if I'm not mistaken. I have it in mock actually behind me. I'm pretty sure it's the Chase variant. It may not be, but that's a good figure right there. I'm gonna stick that right there. Next up is Christian. Now, for me, this one is meh. Elite 76 Christian. It's okay. I just don't, I don't know. There was, in this set, you had Heavy Machinery, Lacey Evans, Braun, and Cena. Now, Cena probably would have been the best one, but it's kind of a, it was a pretty weak set, to be honest with you, in the first place. So, since this set was kind of weak, and they had to go with Christian in the black shirt, I like the change of pace. It's just, you know, it doesn't move the needle much for me, so I'm gonna put it in meh. Next up is Elite 77 Rick Rude. Now, this one's a good figure. I actually like this Rick Rude. I like the yellow tights. I love the pink boots on this guy. I think this Rick Rude is better than uh, some other people we could have gotten. Now, in this set, you had The Fiend, you had uh, Miss Elizabeth, Rick Rude, Ronda Rousey, Viscera, and Styles. Maybe Styles could have won it, but Rick Rude is nice. It's a good change of pace, and it gives us a bonus Rick Rude to get. I like this one. Next up, we have Elite Series 79 and 80, Undisputed Era. Now, for me, I'm gonna go meh on these, just because the regular versions were the, were the camo gear, which was nice. I really like that, but for their change of pace gear, it was just like, you know, they're solid. It's just a plain black attire for me. Not my, uh, you know, it really doesn't get me going that much. So I'm going to go with Undisputed Era in meh. I love Undisputed Era. I love Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. These just are, you know what I'm saying? They're just meh. You know, they're not, they're not, they're just meh. They're just meh. They're just meh. It's eh. I don't, I don't need it. It's meh. I don't think you must grab these. Now, if this is War Games attire, which is the regular versions, you go get them right now. You find them at a good price, buy them. Don't even think about it. Buy it. Next up is Shinsuke Nakamura from Elise 81. I almost said 61. All right, guys, I don't know where the thing cut off, but we were moving up to Elite 81 Shinsuke. I don't even know if I finished my thoughts on Rick Rude or if I already started on Shinsuke, but it cut off. But I'm going to put this in good figure. I think that the attire is a lot different than the regular version. Like, they gave him full painted sleeves where they had skin tone sleeves. So I think things like that really create a, a lot of intrigue about the Chase variants. So I think that is a actually really good Chase variant because it is so different. Next up is Elite 82 Keith Lee. Now, I'm going to put this in go buy it. I don't own it, but the pink and gray gear, man, that is right there. That's super fire. That'll get me out of bed in the morning and go track this thing down. Now, that's a good chase variant. You really want a chase variant that really pushes the button that changes things up. Now, that's why the Shinsuke ended up in good figure. I think the head skull kind of uh, messed this guy up a little bit, but I think he could go higher, man. I really like this one. Now, I don't think he's above Hurricane, but I still like it right there. So, Keith Lee is a really good figure. I don't own it just yet. I really do want to track it down, but there you go. Next up, guys, is Edge, and this is go buy it as well. The Elite 83 Edge. I actually purchased this the other day. It's kind of saddening because I'm not going to keep it like it is. Wink, wink. Guns N' Roses attire is what I like to call it. It just reminds me of Guns N' Roses. I look at the gear. I think Guns N' Roses. Sweet child of mine. Welcome to the jungle. Paradise City. Elite 83 Edge Chase variant. Really damn good figure. Really great attire. All the good things. Next up is Elite 84 Jeff Hardy. 
This one is, uh, I think it's meh. It's meh. I think that, uh, you know, it's a Jeff Hardy figure. I love Jeff Hardy again, but I think that they gave him the same sleeves from his entrance greats figure from his Elite 57. It's a, uh, they didn't include the back tattoo. There's a lot of things that are kind of eh about this figure where it's like, I like it a lot. It's Jeff Hardy, but they could have done so much more with it, which is not why it's not barely acceptable. It's not garbage. It's meh for me because it's Jeff Hardy and all those things. So there you go for Jeff Hardy. Next up is Elite 85, Alistair Black. Now I like this Alistair Black. Alistair Black, man, I uh, I don't know what I want to do with Alistair Black right here. I don't know if he's meh or if he's good figure. Ooh. I think I'm going to go good figure. I really like the like Blair Witch Project font that he's got going on on the butt cheeks right there. Really dig the way it came out. I think that Alistair Black is very solid. So I'm going to put him at the end of good, good figure. Of course, we don't have that one in hand just yet. It hasn't released just yet, but it should be very, very soon. And it should be pretty damn good. Next up, Elite 78, Naomi. I I feel like this is a go buy it. And this one right here is kind of crappy because nobody likes this figure. Like, I feel like, like if you go to ringside right now, I think you can get it for $19 or like $20, which is a steal for a Chase variant, first of all. If you use promo code MDTOYS, you'll save an additional 10%. You can really cash in on this beautiful looking Naomi. You got the glow in the dark women's championship. You got the feel the glow ombre hair. It's a really good figure. I, I don't know why people don't want this figure. Double jointed arms would obviously make it a lot better, but I, I think it's a really outstanding Chase variant. It makes it different than the regular version. I think it's a go buy it. I'm going to put Naomi up there. And finishing it up, guys, we have Elite 86 Triple H, and this one's meh for me. It's just, you know what? I think it's barely acceptable. I think it's barely acceptable. You know, they didn't make the SummerSlam gear the Chase variant. The red and gold is like a very awkward attire. I don't know. It's just not one that I think of for that era of Triple H, or at least for me. You got the red and gold. It's decent. It's just like, eh, to me. I think it's a little below meh, though. I just, it doesn't move the needle for me. I'm excited to add upon the Triple H shelf. You guys know it's ever-expanding, but in this in this wave, you had Fiend, Carmella, Rollins, Miz, and Sid, and I think they chose the right person, like, obviously outside of Rollins, but I think, you know, ah, they could have done so many better attires for me, so I'm gonna go barely acceptable for Triple H, and that is it for your ranking of the Chase variant WWE Elite figures. I gotta get into the random shout-out real quick before I forget about it, because I know I forgot about it the last couple times, but alright guys, getting into the random shout-out, this has gotta go to the underdog from the underground who says, coming to KFC in the summer of 21, Kentucky Fried Fiend KFF, that was a pretty good comment right there, I could not not shout that out when I saw that, so that was pretty damn good, man, the underdog from the underground, Kentucky Fried Fiend, you guys know the Fiend return, he looks like a, like a fried zombie or whatever, but I don't know, let me know what you guys think of the ranking of the Chase variant set, I would really appreciate it, overall, I like what we got going right here, I don't think it's anything outside the box, I, I like what we got going on, nothing too immaculate, you know, uh, I think Ziggler is one of the best Chase variants. This top this top wave right here, I'm pretty damn set with. I mean, maybe a couple more could move up into the go buy it. But I think these are like the elite of the elite as far as Chase variants go. Let me know if you agree with me down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. But I'll tell you what. If my body's getting sick and my voice wants to go out, you already know what the hell my voice did. If my voice wants to act like a dumb son of a bitch, well, you already know what the deal is, Brad. You know what you did, Throaticus. You know what you did. You crossed the line. I've been beaten